you might want to tip your baristas a little extra when you get your morning cup of joe, especially today. Starbucks is paying its employees in cash right now after a ransomware attack crippled its payment and scheduling systems. And as we get closer to closing out 2024, Google's cybersecurity team has been working to identify trending scams and threats from this year to help prevent others in the new year. We caught up with the chief technology officer who works with Google Cloud, who says there are three particular threats they anticipate seeing in 2025. One of them attacks on organizations that disrupt business operations, like the recent threat to affect Starbucks, like we just saw. Usually scammers steal company data. They hold it for ransom with the promise not to publish it. Now, another potential threat is attacks by other nations against the Western world due to increasing geopolitical tension um, against the United States or, or other countries that might have some impact to how the United States operates. Yeah, I mean, we just wrapped up the election, so those attacks are expected. And then you add in AI and its advanced capabilities. Experts say scammers will leverage that to create more authentic looking communications with people so we can expect more sophisticated phishing scams like those emails or text messages that convince people to provide sensitive information. We anticipate seeing is more adversarial use of AI to help threat actors create deep fakes, synthetic voices, to convince people that there are you know, certain media that's out there or content that's out there that um, is fake, but they'll try to make people believe that's actually real. And he says the good news is that the defenders have the upper hand today from an AI perspective over the adversaries, but people need to be careful not to respond to those text messages or emails, especially if they're from alleged merchants, because merchants will not reach out to you asking you to call a number or cancel a, subscri a subscription, Karen. So a lot of things to be on the lookout for in 2025. I get so many of those messages, yeah. like text messages now. I'm always like, delete, delete, you know, but it's, sometimes they sound so real. You got to delete them.